Rachel Batamuliza was born handicapped with a head larger than average and with arms and legs that she could not use because they were limp. Rachel's mother did not have the means to look after her daughter and had even given up about the future survival of her daughter until she was introduced to the missionaries of the poor. Rachel, now in primary one, has lived here since she is one among the many who are being assisted. The missionary of the poor home is located in Kisenyi, here in Kampala. A total of 280 people are housed here, 54 of them elderly and 94 children. Nearly 150 of them are disabled. But taking care of this huge number of helpless people is no easy task, especially as they do not have a constant source of income and the resources to look after them. A key challenge is the shortage of adequate food supplies, medicines and clothing. And you know we work for no money, we work for free. And uh, with the support and the kindness of other people helping us, it enables us to support others. Before a child or anyone else is brought in to be assisted, their financial status and general background are evaluated to see whether they qualify. However, sometimes some children are just abandoned at the doors of the missionary home. We also have some people who have just come because we found them in the hospital. The doctors told us these people were left behind and uh, the families may have run away. Sometimes they are brought in by police. The missionary brothers have been trained to give the special unnecessary care that these children and elders need. To cope, the home mainly relies on well wishes to provide for these children. Today, Standard Chartered Bank became one of the benefactors with a donation of 12 computers and soaps and detergents worth 1 million shillings. We'll continue to donate this, these detergents and soaps worth 1 million shillings for one year. Maintaining such a home on handouts with no source of income, it really threw us back. So 